In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your uh, Tennessee Online Pesticide Licensure or Certification Exam. When you receive your login credentials, you will eventually end up on a screen that looks like this once you get logged into the system. And the way everything works is it starts at the top and you just work your way to the bottom. At the top part of your screen here, we have a list of technical specifications and instructions that I encourage you to read through. The three main things that uh, you need to know are you need to take the test on a computer. It could be a Mac or a PC and a desktop or a laptop, but it cannot be a phone, a tablet, an iPad, or anything like that. That computer is going to need to have a webcam. The second thing is that you're going to take the test on that computer using the Google Chrome web browser that I've highlighted here. You can't use Firefox, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, any other web browser. And the third thing is that you need to install the Proctorio extension into Google Chrome. It takes about 30 seconds, and I'll show you how it works just now. If you have not installed the Proctorio extension, you'll see a little link below these technical specifications that says Secure Exam Proctor. That will disappear once the proctoring extension is installed. So if I go install it, if I, to, to install that, I'm going to click on that link. I'm going to click on Get Proctorio on number two here. Number one is green because I'm already on the Google Chrome web browser. So I'm going to click Get Proctorio. It's going to open up another tab. And I'm going to click Get Here. In the top right corner, of the screen and I'm going to click add to Chrome and then it's going to ask for my permission and I'm going to click add extension. In about five or ten seconds I'm going to see a message pop up here on the right side of the screen letting me know that this has been successfully installed. And Once that's done you can close that tab out and close uh, the other tab out and go back uh, in the original tab to into your exam environment. And you'll notice that that link on the bottom just disappeared because now it recognizes that Proctorio is installed on my browser. If you skip this step or you forget to do it, it's not going to let you proceed into your exam and it's going to prompt you to do so before you can go into the test. When you want to get into the test itself, uh, the, the, that's farther down the screen, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch this video and you'll, this box will be checked after that video has been watched. And then you're going to, I'm going to show you a practice test here. This is really the only substantive dif difference between um, the, you know, what you're seeing on this video and what you'll see in your actual test is that there won't be real test content in this exam. So to get into the test itself, and I'll go through and authenticate the proctoring now, um, I'm, I'm going to click in and I'm going to click attempt quiz. And then you're going to see a series of screens uh, with information. And I recommend that you read all of that information before proceeding into your test. This first screen is going to let you know that your environment is going to be recorded. So your screen is going to be recorded, your webcam, your audio environment, your internet traffic, all of that's going to be recorded and maintained for exam security purposes. Before you can continue into the test, if there's anything that needs to be uh, fixed, the, the, the system is going to prompt you to do it. So you can't see it, but I've got multiple browsers installed and I've got uh, in a different uh, Chrome, I've got a number of tabs open. So I'm going to close all those tabs. And it's going, to, it's going to open them up again when my test is complete. So I'm not going to lose any of the information that I have. And then I'm going to disconnect the second monitor that I have installed. And the system should refresh to allow me to enter my exam. Now it's going to say that I'm on battery power uh, because I've just unplugged from a docking station. I'm only going to be going into this practice exam for just a few minutes. I do not recommend you proceed into your exam on battery power. Uh, if you're like me and you use a docking station and you need to disconnect a second monitor, I recommend you run your power cable directly in your computer so that you don't run out of battery during your exam. However, the test will allow you to proceed um, on battery. Just recognize that if the battery runs out, you may cause yourself some, uh, some problems. So I'm going to go into the pre-exam checks. It's going to check that my webcam is working, that my microphone is working, that my internet connection is stable, and I need to click, when, I, when this window pops up, I need to click on the picture of my own desktop, and then I need to click the blue share. So there's an image of your desktop, and you need to click that thumbnail, and then you want to click the blue share button, and you've given permission to share your desktop environment with, uh, with the proctoring service. Once all of those are authenticated, and to make sure that you've got things like a stable internet connection, that your webcam is functioning, that your microphone is functioning, and that you've shared your desktop environment, it will take a few seconds, but it will allow you um, uh, that it'll it'll eventually allow you into your um, your exam environment. You haven't started your exam at this point, and so there's no risk from a timing standpoint. Uh, you have you're not consuming any timing on your exam. So now you can see uh, a video of me on the on the screen, 
and it's it's warning. Uh, this is the view of what the you know the proctoring service sees uh, from my webcam, and it's saying, hey, you're about to start a test. Get comfortable. Use the restroom. Get water um, before you pr proceed into the test. And again, the clock has not yet started. There's going to be a screen that pops up, and it's going to ask you to hold up an ID card. So I've got mine. Um, since this is a public video, I've taped over my contact information. And uh, if you need to retake the image because it's blurry, you can. Um, and if you have trouble getting it to I identify the, um, the the contours of your ID like it just did automatically on mine, after a few seconds, it'll prompt you, and it'll give you the opportunity to click to take a picture of it. Um, I'm going to just proceed into the test, and the next thing it's going to do is it's going to take pictures of me. So I'm going to pause briefly. Um, and it's going to take five or six pictures of me. And then the, the, the last couple of things, I'm going to sign an acknowledgement statement, and then I'm going to do a scan of the room that I'm in. Um, so I'm about to proceed into the scan. This is kind of showing you a notional room. You're going to pick your computer or your webcam up, and you're going to spin in a 360-degree circle to show the environment where you're taking your test. What you want to do on that scan is, you know, show that you're alone, that you're not in a, you know, you're not, uh, you don't have anybody else in the room with you. So I'm going to uh, do my best to sign here with my mouse, and I'm going to, I'm going to read this statement, or I recommend that you read this statement, and sign with your mouse. And when I hit accept, my test is going to begin. Now I haven't yet done the room scan. Um, that's about to happen in just a few seconds, but it only takes about 20 seconds to do um, uh, during your test. So it's going to prompt me to start the scan, and so I'm going to pick this laptop up. And I'm spinning around slowly in a 360 degree circle. You can see the room that I'm in. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to put my laptop back down and it should recognize that I'm complete. And then I'm going to continue into the test. So in this test, um, I've only got uh, a few questions. Um, I can, one of the things you can do is you can open up a new tab with a pesticide label for your exam, if your exam has a label and it'll open up a second tab at the top of your test. Um, in this case, we just have a, uh, a PDF that's about the White House, but you'll see an actual, uh, you'll see a PDF of, you know, whatever the pesticide label or labels that are relevant for your test. You'll be able to open those up in a separate tab at the top of your screen, and you can toggle back and forth between your test and that other tab. Um, you shouldn't go anywhere else on the internet. Your, uh, the system will, for the most part, block you from doing so. If you try to circumvent those controls, it may kick you out of your test. So I. Don't recommend trying to do that, but you can go back and forth between um, any pesticide labels that you're approved to take, approved to use on your exam, and uh, you know, and, and the exam itself. In the exam environment, you've got a, a tool that pops up where you can see the image of yourself. You've got access to an on-screen calculator that you can use, and you can use that to um, you know to, to to do any uh, test questions that you that have any calculations. So if I needed to you know do anything, I can type on screen to do that. I can zoom in or out on my exam using the plus or minus buttons. I can see how much battery I have left. And if I run into any technical issues, I can start a chat with live chat. I can move this around my screen and I can minimize it if I want, if I want to get it out of the way. Uh, to, to reopen it, I just hover over it and click the two, exp uh, two arrows and it'll reopen, um, reopen on my screen. As I go through the test, if you have questions that you want to flag, you can flag questions. You can answer questions. Uh, and you'll see any flags. You've got a quiz navigation bar in the top right corner of the screen, and you'll see, um, I'm gonna leave question two blank, and I'm gonna answer the other questions. And when I go through and I click finish attempt, it's gonna move to the next screen, and you can see that it's warning me that question two has not yet been answered, and uh, it also has this question two is not, uh, is white, instead of filled in with a gray box. And then question one, the one that I flagged, has the flag at the top. And I can go back to that question by clicking on the question itself over here. So if I want to jump directly back to question two, I can click on it on the right side of my screen or on the left side of my screen to jump directly back to that question. Once I'm done that again, I can return to this screen. And when I'm ready to submit my exam results, I'll submit all and finish. And then I'll have to hit a final confirmation, submit all and finish. Um, you, will, uh, uh, you will have to allow uh, a few days for exam results to be uh, reviewed and proctored, and then you will receive your uh, results from the state of Tennessee um, with your pesticide licensure uh, by mail after completing your exam. Good luck, and uh, if you have any questions, just contact us, and we're happy to help you.